And first at 11, the sigh of relief for so many people in and around Fort Lauderdale tonight. Many hours since a massive water main break tonight, water is restored. It's great news for Friday morning. Showers running, toilets flushing, and yes, you can brew that pot of coffee. However, for the more than 200,000 people affected by this water main break, all drinking water needs to be boiled for at least another day. CBS 4's Carrie Codd begins our team coverage. She's live in Fort Lauderdale tonight at the scene of the break. Carrie. That's right. After a day of activity trying to fix that water main break here at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport, things are quiet tonight. The big hole in the ground does remain. It's back behind me through this fence. But tonight, the city says they have a temporary fix in place, and water is once again flowing through the taps. Although, as you mentioned, that boil water notice remains in effect. The water main break at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport caused courts and governments to close early, residents to hunt for bottled water, and restaurants to close up shop for the day. It's been a long day for a lot of us. But by late Thursday afternoon, Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trantalis told reporters a temporary fix for the damage to a 42-inch water main was in place. Water is now flowing. And uh, though at a lower, lower than normal pressure and should be back to near normal sometime this evening. The mayor said by day's end, city workers fashioned a fix. They'd patched the pipe. We are now building a concrete bunker around the broken pipe that will seal the break. It will protect the patch, ensure the pipe, and prevent the, the break from increasing or becoming any worse. The plan is to put in a permanent repair by the end of the weekend and reroute water to the city's main water treatment plant. The mayor said a subcontractor of Florida Power and Light damaged the water main on Wednesday afternoon while repairing electric lines. City leaders said they've cited the company, Florida Communications Concepts, Inc., out of Palm Beach County. A city police report said the company did have an 811 locate ticket that was valid, but no city issued permits for the work. During the drilling boring process, the company punctured a city water main, causing thousands of gallons of water to spew onto the airplane ramps. Trantala said the city plans to seek compensation from the company for its residents and businesses. Well, it was clearly haphazard. It was clearly uh, something that they should not have done, and it was clearly something that uh, we're going to seek retribution for. The break impacted more than 220,000 people across Fort Lauderdale, Oakland Park, Wilton Manor, Sea Ranch Lakes, Lauderdale by the Sea, and parts of Tamarack and Davie. Trantala said with the temporary repair in place, the city can start to work on a permanent solution and also determine how this happened and why. This was not just a minor incident. This impacted many hundreds of thousands of people and customers, and uh, we need to get to the bottom of it. All right, a couple of notes. Again, that boil water notice remains in effect. City leaders say it could be in effect for up to two days. Also, city offices and the main courthouse in Fort Lauderdale are expected to be open for regular business tomorrow. Finally, tonight I did have a brief conversation with the man listed as an officer of the company that the city cited for damaging that pipe. That man told me he couldn't talk about the situation tonight, but that he expects to release some sort of statement tomorrow. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. All right, Kerry, thank you very much. As the boil water notice continues, Fort Lauderdale has set up three sites where you can pick up free bottled water. They are all reopening tomorrow at 8 a.m.